Hey everybody, I'm Dave Matthews. I work on the user experience stuff with Foxy. And I'm going to show you a walkthrough on installing the patch stick, USB, pack to the Apple TV. So, as you can see here, I've got an Apple TV running 2.2 and I have a patch stick which I made via the instructions on the forum. It's really easy to make. Um, you got a one gigabyte flash drive and I'm using a Kingston. So, we've seen some better luck with quality USB drives versus the generic Asian ones. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. You know, some people like to shut their Apple TV down, but I'm not one of those people. I'm going to take the USB stick, plug it into the back, and plug the Apple TV back in. And while that's booting, I have to give mad props to Team XBMC. As you can see, I still have the original Xbox in my equipment rack um, on top of the Xbox 360. Uh, doing some uh, video and audio decodes as well. Alright, here's what's cool. Uh, right now it's booting off the patch stick. You have to see Tux on top of the Apple TV. If that works, then we know we're booting off USB. If not, that means that you did not typically format your USB thumb drive in Mac format. So it can't be Windows 32 or FAT32. It has to be a Mac OS uh, format. Alright, so at the very end, uh, you see it's a pretty quick process. It's already done. It says SSH front row at Apple TV local. Username and password are both front row. And now you can own the box. You can log on to it. So once again, you unplug it, unplug the patch stick. And now when you plug it back in, it's going to boot into the Apple existing uh, TV interface. So that's really cool. Um, best thing about it is you'll still be able to do iTunes protected content, DRM. You'll still be able to use Apple TV for the AirTunes and Apple Remotes as an app for the iPhone or iTouch, but you get two new menu options, one of them Boxy, the other one XBMC. So don't worry about any of your content that you bought from the iTunes store, but you wouldn't have done that, would you? You really wouldn't have bought from the iTunes store. I know I didn't. Um, give it a second here to boot up, and once it does, I'm going to show you how to get into Boxy and XBMC. Uh, we definitely want to do an update there, so more on that in a sec. Okay, that was it. We're back. We're booted up. We're into Apple TV, and as you can see, we have two brand new menu items. We have XBMC and Boxy. So what you're going to want to do is go into Boxy and pick Update. Now, because we're in Alpha, we're constantly pushing out new versions of the code. So I just clicked on the version that was at the top there, and it's going to download into the box. Very important, you want to make sure you have the latest stuff because we are making changes pretty frequently. By the way, this is just a gigahertz CPU, so it's not a very fast CPU. I'm using mine on a DLP TV set, it does 720p. If you have 1080 content on a 1080 monitor, you're definitely going to want to go with a Mac Mini right now. Uh, because we're not utilizing the GPU hardware acceleration for the video card. By all means, if you're a GPU expert, get into the forums.boxy.tv. You can um, have discussions there about it. And also, if you have some questions on the patch stick, that content's available on the Boxy forums as well. So definitely some good resources there. Uh, a little trivia question while this thing's decompressing right now in the background. This box has how much RAM? What'd you say? Did you say 256? Well, that's right, 256 megs of RAM. So that's it, the update's finished. So now we can uh, go back and just click on the Run Boxy, and it's going to log or ask me for the login. Now it's the same credentials that you've set up on the website, and as soon as you see that flash, you know Boxy's about to start. So you'll get the username screen here, just click Add User, use your same credentials from the web, and you're set up, ready to go. All you need to do now is point at some of the shares on your network. If you share a folder on your PC or you have a NAS box or personally, I love free NAS. So there you go. You're all set up. Have fun with Boxy. I'm Dave Matthews, the user experience guy for Boxy, and we'll see you in the forums.